फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू ए डिक्टेट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एट्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनिट इट इज ए लीगल डिक्टेशन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट टूडे सो गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट इट इज ए well established rule in criminal jurisprudence that circumstantial evidence can be reasonably made the basis of an accused person's conviction if it is of such a character that it is wholly inconsistent with the innocence of the accused and is consistent only with his guilt if the circumstances proved in the case and consistent either with the innocence of the accused or with his guilt then the accused is entitled to the benefits of doubt there is no doubt or dispute about this position but in playing this principle it is necessary to distinguish between facts which may be called primary or basic on the one hand and inference of facts to be drawn from them on the other in regard to the proof of basic or primary facts the court has to judge the evidence in the ordinary way and in the appreciation of evidence in respect of the proof of this basic or primary facts there is no scope for the application of the doctrine of benefit of doubt the court consists the evidence and decides whether that evidence proves a particular fact or not when it is held that the certain fact is proved the question arises whether that fact leads to the inference of guilt of the accused person of doubt would apply and an inference of guilt can be drawn only if the proved fact is wholly inconsistent with the innocence of the accused and is consistent only with his guilt it is not beyond the kin of experienced able and astute lawyers to raise doubts and uncertainties in respect of the prosecution evidence either during trial by cross examination is by the marshalling of that evidence in the manner or in which the emphasize is uncertainty in the evidence before a court is generally due to the nature and quality of that evidence it may be that witnesses are lying or where they are honest and truthful they are not certain it is therefore difficult to expect a scientific or mechanical institute while dealing with 
such evidence or arriving at a true conclusion because of this difficulties corroboration is sought wherever possible and the maximum that the accused should be given the benefit of doubt becomes pivotal in the prosecution of offenders which in other words means that the prosecution must be given proof its case against an accused beyond responsible prosecution must prove sufficiency of credible evidence the benefit of doubt to which the accused is entitled is reasonable doubt the doubt which rational thinking men will reasonably honestly and consistently entertain and not the doubt of a timid mind which fights shy thought unwittingly it may be or is afraid of the logical consequences if that benefiting mind that has no moral courage to decide but shelters itself in a vain and ideal skepticism it does not mean that the evidence must be so strong meted the offense if that were so the law would fail to protect society as in no case can such a possibility be excluded it will give room for fanciful conjectures or untenable doubts and will result in deflecting the course of justice if not thwarting it altogether